Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today this is going to be a 2024 general election prediction between Chelsea Clinton and Ivanka Trump. Let's point out some obvious things. Ivanka Trump is Donald Trump's daughter. Um, this is a act. This is a prediction as if Donald Trump was re-elected as president in 2024. Um, Ivanka Trump is Donald Trump's daughter, and Chelsea Clinton, of course, is Hillary Clinton's daughter. So they are close friends, and it would be cool to see a matchup between the two, so I decided to do it. Um, let's point out some facts before we get started. Ivanka Trump currently has a 47% approval rating nationally. Chelsea Clinton has a 51% approval rating nationally. Um, Chelsea Clinton is obviously more liked because um, she, her parents are not currently in power. There's always a lot of opposition between the other parties of the person in power. So obviously Donald Trump is bringing down Ivanka Trump's numbers. Um, that's just plain facts. Um, Donald Trump's approval rating is in the 30% margin to 40% at its highest. That's not fake news or a fake poll. That's facts. That's the mood of the country. And he's bringing down his family members with it, just like Hillary Clinton um, brought down Chelsea Clinton, um, who's at a slim 51% approval rating. Um, so yeah, so Donald Trump currently has a 36% approval rating, according to Gallup, and um, it's moved up to around 38% with the Real Clear Politics average. But that's going to hurt Ivanka Trump. So this is just a standpoint of a 2024 prediction based off growing demographics, based off um, changes in the electoral map, based off eight years of a Trump presidency predicted, based off the approval ratings we see now, because it is the only data we have at this moment in time. So obvious states, the um, West Coast would obviously be um, safe Democratic territory, um, safe Republican states like Idaho, Montana, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, I'm leaving as a toss-up. Um, Minnesota would be safe blue because of how it's changing. Um, Virginia would be safe blue, trending more Democratic after 2020. Um, 2024, let me just say something now. 2024 and 2028 will be safe Democratic years. I don't care what you say about... Um, I don't care what you say about how Republicans will be able to somehow appeal to minorities that they have been um, not winning over for the past 20 years. Donald Trump didn't do it. Um, he won because of the white working class, not because of minorities. And in 2024, Republicans are going to be in for a shock. I'm going to tell you something right now. After the 2024 election, there will never be another Republican president that you would see in today's day and age. You will never see another Republican like Ted Cruz win the White House against a Democrat. The reasoning is, if you take the 2016 electoral map and you give the, you give Hillary Clinton the state of Texas, she wins the election. The state of Texas is trending more Democratic. It dropped from 16% for Romney to 8% for Trump. The growing Latino population, illegal immigrants vote for Democrats 80 to 20. That's with slim, that's with like thousands of votes, not even enough to make an impact. However, legal immigrants Vote Democrats 70 to 30, Latino immigrants, sorry, vote 70 to 30 for Democrats. If they continue at this trend, which they most likely will, considering that Trump has ended DACA, Republicans are going to need to start to appealing to people other than the white working class voters that they won over in 2016, because they're going to be in for a rude awakening come around 2024 and 2028, and they can't play on the same playing field. You're going to call me biased for saying that Republicans can't win? That's pure facts. There is no way a Republican will be president after 2028 or 2024. That's just how the demographics are showing now. South Carolina has a growing African-American population, which was once a Republican stronghold, will likely be safe blue by 2032. Georgia will likely be safe blue by 2024. Florida is expected to be de Democratic by 15% due to the Latino population growing there by 2032. Um... Texas is expected to flip well before 2024, possibly the 2022 midterms, okay? Things are not looking good for the for the Republicans. If you look in states like California, states that say they flip that, they can afford to lose Texas. They can't flip it. It's trending more Democratic. Nevada, trending more Democratic. Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, North Carolina, Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, those are states they can afford to, um, Democrats can afford to lose and still win the election. Ohio is going to be red. Iowa will be red. Um, so yeah, so I'm getting a little bit off topic. I'm going to start 
talk about this more in a video tomorrow with my friend that we're going to be doing somewhat of a podcast type thing. And I'm just going to fill in the safe Republican states while I talk about it. It's going to be about Trump's chances in the year 2020 and about changing demographics. And um, so, yeah, so I'm going to give Charles Clinton all the states that her mother won. Um, just because of the fact that Nevada, New Mexico, and Colorado are likely to be safe blue by 2024. Um, and this is a 2024 scenario, even after eight years of Trump. And usually the holding party loses the general election um, after eight years. Um, I'm le the reason why I'm leaving these states as a toss-up is because these are states that Bill Clinton won. Um, Chelsea Clinton, I definitely could see making Arkansas competitive. Not only does she not have scandals like her mother did, Hillary Clinton was like the Chelsea Clinton would be in 2024. Hillary Clinton made Arkansas for her. Would Arkansas would have voted for her by 15% against John McCain. It voted, for Brock, it voted for John McCain over Barack Obama, but Hillary Clinton had that home state factor. Chelsea Clinton will as well. Um, South Carolina, I'm leaving all these states as a toss-up because they have growing demographics, and that's the thing that's going to hurt Republicans. So if we're looking in states that Ivanka Trump will win, I'll give her Ohio because um, the white working class and the white population is somewhat growing, but the African-American population is steadily increasing. But as of the 2016 margins, it's not likely to flip unless there's a home state factor or there's a running mate from that state. Um, Iowa, again, that one has um, the vote of the white working class and the tired of Obama voters, and I think that they still could hold to just because Trump She's still a Trump. I think that Trump name will land them a victory there. But if it was another Republican candidate, they could ease, it could easily flip. Um, we're looking in the Rust Belt. After eight years of Trump, if they vote for him again, I think that they would flip back to the Democrats. My reasoning being is the fact that usually the um, current party loses a lot of the general... He loses the general election after eight years because that's just how history works. America gets tired of one party for eight years and... Yeah, Chelsea Clinton is currently more favored um, than Ivanka Trump, even though that's not really expected because Donald Trump is bringing down Ivanka Trump. So I think that just based off the numbers we have now, we can't we can't change any of the numbers that we see, and we have to go by them. Um, Texas, this is 2024. If Chelsea Clinton chooses someone like Julian Castro as her running mate or chooses someone else, um, that's from the state of Texas or is Latino. I could see her flipping the state, but if she chooses someone else, um, I think Texas may hold on to the Republicans by less than 1%. I think it'll be extremely close. It could tilt in either direction, but as of right now, Chelsea Clinton already won the election. She doesn't need to win Texas. Um, Arizona, that's also with Texas. Growing Latino population is going to kill the Republicans there. Um, Florida, I'm going to give that one to Chelsea Clinton, growing Latino population, and the fact that it was closer than Texas and Arizona was, and it's expected to be blue by um, 2024. And based off the trends and the voting patterns that Latinos do and the DACA situation, I really think that after eight years of a Trump presidency, they'll look for someone new, even if it is Chelsea Clinton. Um, North Carolina and Georgia, I could see those flipping because I think Chelsea Clinton will not only appeal to the African-American vote by having that Clinton as her last name, I think that she could use the growing demographics to her um, advantage. If this was a 2020 prediction, I would give Ivanka Trump Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina easily. But there's a huge influx of voters that are going to be going into these states based off trends we see now. Um, that's not a definite, but it's more than likely. Um, we're looking at Arkansas. She could easily make Arkansas competitive like Hillary Clinton did in 2008 prior to all of her scandals. Um, Missouri, I'm going to give that one to Ivanka Trump because even though Bill Clinton won the state, I don't think it'll flip. Neither will Louisiana because even though it may be um, a, a Bill Clinton state, I don't necessarily see it as a state that would go for Chelsea Clinton even if she does win Arkansas, which I'm considering um, making possible just because of the fact that Hillary Clinton made it safe blue in 2008. In 2016, it was safe red for obvious reasons. Hillary Clinton lost a lot of her um, she's an honest type voter, a voter voting base. And in 2008, she was a lot more liked than she was in 2016. And she would have done a lot more in 2008, um, especially eight years after a Trump president, after a Bush presidency. And the same effect will be here. Um, we're due for another economic collapse. So if that falls under the Trump presidency, I think that'll definitely hurt him. Um, 
just based off South Carolina's past voting record, I think that South Carolina will stay red. But I think that if it was in 2028 or 2032, it would go blue. If we're looking in the final states that we haven't called yet, let's say we give Chelsea Clinton Texas and we give her Arizona. We give her um, Arkansas. That puts her at 397, which I'm not sure if I'm going to give her all three states. I'm going to have to think through them for a second. If we're looking at Texas, that one is going to easily become competitive because of the Latino vote. So I'm going to say that Chelsea Clinton chooses... Um, I'm going to say Chelsea Clinton chooses... Julian Castro as a running mate, just because I think that if Chelsea, Chelsea Clinton can definitely take back the white working class after eight years of a Trump presidency, just like Trump took it from the Obama camp um, after eight years of an Obama presidency, in Georgia, she will have the black vote because of the Clinton last name and the Cl and her family. Same with North Carolina and Florida, the, the Latino vote will go for her, especially if Julian Castro is the VP. So I think that would, that would be the more logical choice for her. Um... So with that, I'm going to give her Arizona and Texas, but I'm going to give Ivanka Trump the state of Arkansas, even though Arkansas would become competitive. Um, I'm not seeing that last minute push for Chelsea Clinton to win the state. I do think it'll be a lot closer than it was in 2016, maybe within 5%, but I do think Ivanka Trump will hold on to the state. Now remember, um, this was just a pure prediction video of a 2024 election. This is eight years from now. No one really knows what's going to happen. Well, sorry, seven years from now. No one really knows what's going to happen. This is all speculation. So again, thank you all for watching. Subscribe in the center um, and watch my last video on the right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.